Hi everyone, this is Levi, and today I'll show you how to make my messaging app components part two. Uh, so first I'll show you what has changed. Um, I have removed the nav bar from this first page and I've just added some um, padding on the top because I'm using an iPhone which has the status bar there which the content can go beneath. And also I've changed that this floating button here opens a page instead of a model because I want to open another page on top of this page and that doesn't work with a mod model the way I'd want to. But it will work in the client runtime 2.x so that will be available or should be available there. But for now, I'm showing you how to make this page. And this page here has a custom, um, well, I made a row into a sort of nav bar thing here at the top with a back button. And then there's this list of contacts with, which has been sorted and grouped according to the first letter of the names and in alphabetical order. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So um, a custom nav bar is one of the few places where I actually like to use a row. So because you want to, like here, I want to have this new chat in the center, but I still want that there to, like I have, to, I have two things I want the, on this, but I want one to be in the center and one in the left corner. So I find this easiest to do with a row, with that three cell row. All right, then as I said here, we will have padding for the row, which is iOS specific. There should hopefully at some point be a system variable that would tell you whether or not the, um, or, or if there's a le ledger or something that takes space from, the, from above, so you would know how to position everything in with it but currently I just do it that if uh, if it's iOS whoops if it's on iOS I will have the 32 pixel padding and if it's not then zero then this is quite simple I want to have a container in the first first cell because I want to make it into a horizontal one and you can't do that with a cell so in that container, I add an icon and a text. Whoops, that did not go here. All right, then this text will simply say back or cancel if you prefer. Um, and this here will, the icon will be that direction. Then I want the container to kind of align items to center and to give it some padding. Also, the icon needs some margin or the text needs some margin just to separate them from each other. The logic is super simple because all you want to do from a back button is navigate back. If you are using the same navigation bar in many, very many places in your app, um, you might want to do a logic for the back button, which determines if it should be visible based on, for example, if there are params on the page, but this page does not have any params. But in many cases, you send params so that you could check if there are params. If not, then open this like so. To show this back button here. Um, then this is just simply going to be a new chat text, which is centered and bolded. And that's it. There's nothing else to it. We can now check if it looks like what we want. Right here. Yep, it looks right. So now we can just delete the old one. I have named it top bar here. Maybe I should rename this row also to top bar just for clarity. All right, then to the contact list. The, I'm going to make a composite out of this for when the client runtime 2.x is out, but because 
it ju I just want to show you how it's made so you can already made it, make it now if you want. So I have just a scroll view in which I have this. It would not be necessary perhaps, but I do. Um, the, okay, first I'll show you the data structure a little. So I have, currently I have, have I'm using this contacts from my app variable and it has just all these fields in and it lists all the contacts there like nothing nothing spe spectacular but when i want to have this sort of grouping and sorting i'm doing it in the repeat with here and i'll i'll just quickly explain this formula for you i will also it will be posted down below so what we do here first like let's, let's take this part of the formula so i'm grouping these contacts in a certain way and i'm grouping based on this part takes the first letter of of the name so whatever the first letter is and it is uppercase in case there happens to be a contact with a lowercase first letter and that's and the groups are made based on the first letter and then in that group every every contact that belongs to a certain group so every contact that starts with letter, letter s for example the is going to be this is going to, this group function is going to return an array and the array uh, list of objects is going to have uh, the object is going to have a key and this will be the first the letter this whatever the first letter was for which all the contacts below so this can be for example s or L in this example here. And then the contacts will include all of those contacts that um, had, had the specific first letter. And they will be sorted alphabetically by name. So they will also be in alphabetical order. So this, this group will return all of the, all of the contacts sorted into groups of per letter and then this is also sorted alphabetically by this letter yes here we go and then what what's done here is that i have i have this divider component where i'm simply showing the letter and then this contact list item is repeated with the contacts belonging to that letter um, let's construct it. So here, I'm going to add contact list, which will repeat it. Well, I will, I will just copy paste that formula so I don't have to write it again. Whoops. Repeat it here. Um, and then I want two containers within that. Well, that did not go. Two containers within that container, of which the first one is going to be a divider, and the second one is going to be the contact list item. So the divider is simply going to have a single paragraph in it, and it is going to be using the key here and I will I'm just going to set a background for it I, ju I think I just picked a random light gray here so I'll just do that again uh, that looks just about right and then add some padding padding right here You've, you will notice that because I have removed the paddings for every page here in the theme variables. This is now, like there's no margins over here. I did that over, wait, no, over here in layout here. These are zeros. Okay, and this, and this here is what we call a nested repeat. So within the outer repeat, I'm going to repeat, wait, actually I will also copy paste this. But I will, I will copy paste it from the first page. 
I think, just to show it. Because you can copy paste it from here, where we made this component. You can copy paste this one. Whoops. No, okay, whatever. You can copy paste this, this one just right here. And delete this one. Whoops, wrong one. Never mind, never mind. Not that one. Copy paste it here. And this will be the contact list item. And it will be repeated with here. Um, I don't want to use this current repeater. Oh, actually something I have to mention. Here I have name, I need to name this. I just name this as letter or something, because if you have two repeats within each other, you should name them, because if you use current within the inner repeat, you're not going to know which current you're referring to. So, so just name them both to be safe. So this is going to be, well, okay, at first I choose this. Um, I'm going to use a formula because um, I think I had some problems with the direct binding. So a formula with which is using the letter contacts here. And this is just going to be a contact. Okay. And just to finish up. Uh, wait, what? I'm just going to property image URL, URL, URL. sorry. <laughs> Um, I just want a preview image for this. Let's use this. Okay. This is going to be, yeah, let's just have the name. This is because this is going to be only a single person. And this is going to be the status message. All right. Let's see if it works. Just a moment while I open the app. All right. So now I have this twice because I'm doing it here. Yeah. So that's basically all, all you have to do to have this grouped contact list. Um, next time we will be, oh yeah, wait, I'll still do this fancy navigation thing. So I am going to have this next page for which I'm going to send the ID of the current contact and perhaps make later a logic to see if there's already a chat ID and open that one. All right. So that's all for this time. Next time I'll show you how to make this um, chat messaging page and the components that belong to that one. All right, then, if you have any questions, you can post them on the forums and see you next time. I just noticed a problem that um, I'm sorry you had to fix. So the problem here was that now there's actually no letter here, except on this old older ones. The thing is that that's because I changed this uh, repeat to be letter and this paragraph is tied to current. So what you need to do is just change that to letter current, letter key, and now it works. Okay, peace out. See you next time.